Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Canis Kia Macho, which is just released with the Doomsday Heist DLC. Now this vehicle, it looks really awesome, to be honest, and it's only going to cost you $345,000, which is really cheap as well, considering all the other DLC vehicles that we've had in the game just recently. Uh, it being under $500,000 is really, really good. Now, like I said, this car looks awesome. Hopefully, we get a lot of customizations uh, because a lot of the other vehicles we've had just recently has also lacked in customization, uh, especially if we go into the Legendary Motorsports. This especially, the, the Neon had pretty much no customization. The Revolta had zero customization. The GT500 didn't have much either. So, hopefully, the Camacho is going to be highly customizable. Right, so without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the LSC and see what, see what sort of customizations we can do to Camacho. Right, so here we go, my dudes. As you pull into LS Customs, you'll see that Canas Camacho is in the off-road category. This vehicle almost looks too big to be in here. <laughs> so we don't get much room to spin the camera around. But, as always, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get race brakes for the bumper, front bumper, and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Look at all them beautiful options. So, we've got the stock. Then we've got the, the stock with the light guard, the primary, the secondary, and the ball bar. Man, that looks fucking mean. And then we've got the same again, the ball bar that is, with the primary, secondary. And then we go on to a ball bar two. So, we're getting, obviously, different um, customizations. But then there's gonna, there's three, no, yeah, three. Yeah, there is. Three different variations of that customization. Obviously, you get the standard ball bar, which is like a matte black. Then you get to change it to the primary color of your car and also the secondary color. And the same with all of them. There we go. Again. Wow, that looks weird as fuck. Not sure about that one. Uh, but some nice options, as you can see. I do like that one because it removes that front bumper, actually. Um, that's just how it sort of like sticks right up out of the front of it, it looks a bit odd. Um, but I think it looks a lot better because it does remove that front bumper, you know? Um, oh, I don't know what to go for. <laughs> really don't know what to go for. I think I'm going to start with just the basic ball bar like this. I might possibly come back and change that, but to start with, I'm just going to choose the ball bar. So then we're going to move on to the rear bumpers. Again, we get loads of options for the, for the rear bumpers. So here we have the stock rear bumper. Then we go onto the stock light cage, so it's not even changing the bumper, it's just changing the lights around, strangely enough. Then we've got the chrome, the chrome one, then the primary, then the secondary. So it's not actually changing the bumper at all. It's just the light the light guard is changing. What the fuck? Why why put it behind this this the you know the, the rear bumper? It doesn't make any sense. It's just the lights around. Uh, oh man, I, I don't I don't get this game sometimes. What the fuck? It's just confusing as hell. Um, to be honest though, I do like, I don't know, I don't know what do I like. The stock light cage looks quite cool. Um, possibly go for the stock ball guard. That looks quite nice because then it's, it kind of matches what I got for the front. So yeah, for, the, for now we're going to go with a stock ball guard. So next we're going to move on to the engine. We want to get a level 4 engine upgrade. Then we go to the exhaust. Uh, we get four additional options for the exhaust. At the moment the stock one doesn't look too bad. It actually looks okay. Uh, that looks that looks no different. Uh, where do they where are they gone? <laughs> so that just makes them really small, so you can't see them. And side pipes, mm, not a fan of the side pipes. And then we've got the twin um, like stand up pipes there on the side. Again, not a massive fan of them. So the side pipes and and these ones I, I don't really like. Um, these ones I don't see any point in because you can't see them. I know they're called stealth exhaust. But I prefer to see it, you know, and that is exactly the same as the stock, um, you know, just a different colour. Looks like you've got a star on the side as well. Uh, so, in that case, I think I'm going to save a little bit of money and just stay with a stock exhaust because I think they look the best. So then we get an option for the doors. Now this is different because we don't tend to have options for the doors much when it comes to customising vehicles. So quite intrigued to see what it is it's gonna we're gonna be able to change so at the moment stock doors then we got what the fuck so okay so you know we've removed the standard doors and it looks like we've now got some sort of 
I don't know, fairground, <laughs> fairground ride um, security doors. They look fucking. I don't know, man. They they kind of look okay. I don't like. I'm not a massive fan of them. Them ones. If I'm going to remove the doors, I think these ones look the best. These ones are don't look as good. I don't think. But do you, do we really want to remove the doors? I don't know. It's different, though, isn't it? I think just because it is different, I think we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to go with uh, with this one. I think it looks a lot better than that. And you know, I do, I do prefer just to have doors. But you know, for the sake of the build, just to be different, I think I'm going to go with these ones. So next we've got the grill. So we can remove the grill. We've got the retro grill and the classic grill. Um, I actually think that one looks the best, you know. Oh man, I, I don't. I'm not a massive fan of these ones. That looks okay, but I think the stock one looks better. So I'm gonna say stock. So then we go over to the hood. Loads of options for the hood. Uh, that look. Oh, that don't look too bad. That don't look too bad. I think the secondary actually looks a little bit better. You know, uh, that looks all right. That's something different. The utility hood. That looks okay. Again, I'm not really sure what I want to go with. You know, these these ones here with the with the grills or the the vents, the, whatever you, the hood vents, whatever you want to call them, um, probably look the best, I reckon. But do we want to make it look kind of off roady? You know, I think I think we do. So in that case, I, th oh, I don't want to go with the utility hood or the black guards. I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with the utility hood. Just for now, I might come back and change it, but for now, I'm going to go with the utility hood. So now we're going to go into the lights, we want to go into headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. So now we get an option for liveries. What's the betting that they're all going to be camo? <laughs> Just a thought. <laughs> but they're not. I am proven wrong. They are not all camo. Wow, I am, I am amazed and also really happy at the same time. But I might have to put the doors back on because I want to see these fucking awesome liveries. That 70s flashback looks fucking sweet, man. And it looks sweet. And I even I haven't even got all the fucking doors on. So I think... Oh, here we go. The camos. But I think if um, I put the doors... Oh, man. They look cool. Red le redneck tuxedo. That looks cool, man. I like that. Especially with the utility hood. They go well together. Yeah, like I was saying, I think if I put the doors back on, especially if I want a livery like this, I think it's going to look a lot better. But I might get away with having the doors off if I go with something like this. We've also got a patriotic one there as well. Obviously, you've got a rusty version of it because Rockstar have gone mad for fucking rusty vehicles just recently. But I'm not going to go with that one. I think I might go with a redneck tuxedo. I think that looks really cool. And then I haven't got to put the doors back on because it was out of this one, the 70s flashback and the redneck tuxedo one. Um... But obviously with the 70s one, I'd have had to put the doors back. Uh, so I thought I'm just going to go with this one because it still looks sweet with the doors removed. So next we do have the respray. This isn't going to matter because I haven't got any secondary or primary colours on you know, any of the ball bars or anything like that. So, And I've also got a livery. So I don't think it's going to change anything. I just will quickly go to classic. At the moment I've got ice white. Oh, so I see. You can see a little bit of the trim around where the doors used to be is going to change. Uh, but that's about it really by the looks of it. Um, oh, and it changes kind of the tone of the livery as well, so it takes the shine out of it a little bit. So I think I'm going to go with black because it looks a little bit nicer than uh, what it did white. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's right. I think black is probably the best choice for the primary and also for the secondary colour. So then we go over to the roll cage. Now, roll cage is none. I wonder what this is going to change because it's hard to put a roll cage in such a big vehicle like this. Oh, okay, so you get the bars in the truck bed. So it's nothing spectacular. I thought it was going to, I don't know, I don't even know what I was thinking, to be honest. But it adds to it, I suppose. I think I'm just going to go with something like this, because again, it, it matches the front and rear ball bars that I've already put on. Uh, so it's bars two at the moment, which I like. The chrome ones actually look quite cool, but then I think it doesn't tie in with the rest of the of the vehicle. So yeah, bars two is the way I'm going to go. So now we've got the option to change the roof. So we've got a stock roof and we can remove the roof. Holy crap. I'm not sure if I like the way that looks with the roof removed. I think it's a lot better with, with the roof. 
yeah, it looks a bit odd, especially when it hasn't got any doors as well. So I think if you're going to remove the doors, you need to keep the roof. If you want to remove the roof, maybe put the doors on. I don't know. Uh, me personally, I think it looks a lot better with the roof, so that's the way I'm going to stay. So next we've got the side skirts. So as you can see, the stock skirts we have, and then we've got the slate skirt, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, we've got that in chrome, primary, and secondary. But I'm just going to get it... Uh, the slate skirt which is just the the, the standard colour because like again it's going to match the front and rear ball bars and also the bars I've got in the truck bed suspension I don't think I'm going to change this because I, th I think it's going to be better if it's a high rider it looks a bit odd when it's lowered as well um, yeah I think it's going to be a lot better as, as stock suspension so that's why I'm going to leave it next we've got the transmission I'm going to get a race transmission and what we got here the uh, truck beds so we've got the the bed rack Oh, cool. So you can put things in the rear, which is pretty sweet. The duffel bags look quite good. Maybe this... I don't know. I think I want to get one of them. Probably the duffel bags. They look quite cool. Uh, or maybe just the grill or the guard, whatever you want to call that. The rack. Maybe just get the rack in the truck bed. That looks quite good too. The weapons crate. I like that. Yeah, I think we're going to go with... Uh, well, we can get the utility upgrade, which is the weapons crate, and we get a little extra on there as well. So, yeah, we're going to go with the utility upgrade. Then we've got the turbo. We do want to get the turbo tuning. Then for the wheels, hopefully the wheels don't actually change size too much. So, we're going to go wheel type. We're going to stay off-road for this. Uh, stock rims. And they don't look like they, they change size all that much. Maybe the width of them is decreased slightly, um, which is unfortunate. But I kind of want black rims on this. I think that's going to look sweet. So I do want to get an aftermarket wheel just because of that. And I'm not sure what ones I want to go with. Those ones look quite cool. The Amazon, I like them. Maybe that's the ones I'll stick with. Yeah, I think I'll go stick with the Amazon rims. I'm going to grab them. And then I'm going to go into the wheel color and purchase carbon black. For the tires, we do want to go into tire enhancements and purchase the bulletproof tires. For the tire design, um, that actually looks quite good, I think. I'm not a massive fan of tyre print in general, but I think this car kind of pulls it off. I don't know. Nah, nah, fuck that. I thought I'm going to leave that off. Next, we are going to go to the windows. We can't even see any windows except for the rear and the front window. Uh, I highly doubt they're going to change. Oh, they do. We get a little sun strip in there, as you can see on the front. Get a little bit of a sun strip, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go with the light smoke window tint. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, of my build on the brand new Camacho. I think it actually looks really, really cool. Um, different to something that we've had in GTA recently. I can't think of anything recently that we've had which is overly similar to this. This is like very unique, very different to pretty much anything we've had in GTA before. This is very similar to Trevor's truck, I think, in story mode. But obviously just a fucking souped-up version of it. And... Um, you know, with a lot more customization. I actually really like it. I'm really impressed with the way it looks. Um, obviously, so much customization, which is also a plus because I just love customization on a vehicle. Uh, in my opinion, if you can't really customize it that much, I don't tend to want to buy it. But because there is so much customization on this, and every one of these will look different. Uh, say, like if 10 people buy one of these, no doubt all of them are going to look different in one way or another. Which is, which is cool, which is what it's all about. You don't want cars that all look the same, do you? So, um, just driving around, a little quick review on its performance. It actually feels like it's really quick. Uh, obviously, there's no official testing been done as of, as of yet on this vehicle. Um, but it feels quite good. You know, it is in the off-road category. Whether it will be competitive in the off-road class is another matter because I think the, the king of that class is the coil brawler, which is just amazing. Uh, also, we've got the trophy trucks in that category as well, which are quite good. Um, but this does feel really, really good. It feels nice when you go around a corner. It brakes nicely. It doesn't seem to slide much, but then again, it's not a high-end performer. Uh, it just pushes cars out of the way, as you can see. But if I just hold down the accelerator, it does pick up speed quite nicely. Obviously, like I said, it's not a high performer, so it's not going to be crazy speeds from this vehicle. But for what it is, I think it you know, handles quite nicely. Speeds quite nicely. Acceleration's okay. So maybe it is worth purchasing, uh, even just to you know go around you know uh, online lobby just to piss about, have fun, you know, because it's 
what it's all about really isn't it I mean if you can't have fun in GTA what is the point in playing and it being so cheap it might just be worth a punt you know it's not overly expensive yeah I know when you do the customizations as well it is going to bump it up a little bit what is it just under $400,000 uh, so with customizations you're probably looking at about $600,000 for this maybe um, you know to get it exactly the way I've got it right now so it's not overly expensive I think it's quite cheap for a brand new car which is sweet which is what it's all about so customizations are good um, performance is okay for the type of vehicle that it is and the price is spot on man so overly I think it's really really good I'm, I'm pretty pretty impressed with it and I'm going into a dead end what the fuck am I doing <laughs> oh there we go so yeah yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it I think overall it is worth a buy because when you it's got more pros than cons to it to be honest I can't think of anything terribly bad, bad to say about it price is good performance is good for what it is customizations are awesome so yeah very very good vehicle and uh, I'm really pleased with it. So that is going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, give me a two sweet. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.